do we think Christian notices today or tomorrow or never that there are now presents underneath a tree? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alice, and if you are new here, and today we have a lot to get done. I have a big to-do list, a lot of Christmas things. I need to wrap presents. Um, where is it? It's a paw print ornament for Bucky back there. We're gonna do his little paw print and put it on an ornament and have forever on our tree. I sold some things through Facebook Marketplace. A lot of the mugs from a recent declutter right there. So someone's coming to meet me at the base gate at 1 p.m. maybe, but they're buying two mugs, so that's great. And then I also want to go to Goodwill to donate a bunch of stuff. Just a lot happening today. But first things first, I have worked out and now I'm hungry. So I'm gonna make a quick breakfast. I have been loving, loving this breakfast. It's like been my go-to all week long. It is two scrambled eggs with Trader Joe's sourdough bread. Absolutely delicious. Here is the finished masterpiece. I put a little sriracha and then everything but the bagel seasoning on top, and this is going to be delicious. Dang it, I ate my breakfast super fast because I was trying to buy Melina Ciciotti's um, merch that just came out, the cute Lion of Judah tea, but they sold out. Literally, it is 9.03, and I had clicked checkout at 9.01, and they're gone. That stinks. Okay, after successfully wasting a lot of time on YouTube that I did not need to waste, I think I wanna get the paw print ornament done. That way it can dry, because I think it has to, it's like clay that he can press his paw print into and it dries. So I wanna have time for it to dry so we can put it on the tree later tonight. So let's figure this thing out. So I'm gonna put some water in this little dish and I'm gonna dip it in that and uh, let's see how this goes. I probably should have cleaned his paws first, but I think I could probably just get a paper towel and mop up some of the mud maybe. It's very fitting for Bucky. Very, very dirty paw print. Okay, it turns out the utensil holder we have next to our stove is a much better size. The cookie cutter they give us is just huge. And I wanted his little paw print to be centered on the little thing. So we're working with this. Leave the completed print in the shaping tool on the foil or wax paper to dry for eight to 10 hours. It may take two to three days. So I guess we won't be able to see the final product in this vlog. Update, I broke the rules and it actually looks a lot uglier in the camera than it does in person. Maybe just the lighting. Should have pressed this little toe bean in harder. But I guess it just sits here for a couple of days while it hardens and then this little ribbon comes in the kit and then it's an ornament for your tree. Okay, honestly, besides pouting about not getting the merch that I wanted to get this morning, I haven't done a whole lot and I need to kind of get things together. Well, I take it back. We worked out, the house is clean, we're like good to go, but I haven't done anything really work-wise. So I made a little bit of an iced coffee. This is my leftover coffee this morning. I just added some ice cubes to it and then a little bit of Trader Joe's creamer. I am a black coffee through and through girl but sometimes it's nice for a little extra pick-me-up something special and it's almond and coconut milk vanilla flavored maybe it's delicious and I was sitting up here starting a new book I got this a couple weeks ago one day in December I just finished um the royal wedding last night if you don't follow my Instagram you're honestly missing a lot of updates I share on my Instagram stories when I finish a book what I think about it and when I'm starting the next one and what I'm reading on top of like everything else including lots of Bucky content but I was going to sit here and read and have a little lunch break but I remembered that I need to wrap presents today and Christian is coming home early. So Fridays are a half day for him, at least right now at this stage in his work. So he should actually be off for work for the day at 11 a.m., but he is going out to lunch with friends. So I have probably an hour, an hour and a half to get some presents wrapped. And the only presents I have to wrap are his because everything else that we're buying for family and friends is in North Carolina and in Florida. So I have in this closet back here, a bunch of things stowed away that need to be wrapped. I also need to find the Christmas wrapping paper. It's in the closet. Please don't judge me for what I'm about to show you. I promise I didn't make it look like this. 
a lot of you guys when I organized this closet asked why I didn't put all of Christian's stuff in a separate bin and it's because this is what he does with it. Um, he needed to find something for an early morning hike one day or he was going to the range or something and he just pulled everything out. So uh, this is Christmas wrapping. And then all the way, if we can work our way through here, is the Christmas wrapping paper. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. And this bin has gift bags and tape and more ribbon, okay. Okay, a quick little haul of everything I got Christian. If you are watching this Christian, exit out right now or else Santa's gonna be very upset with you. Um, I already showed these in a video. They're little margarita glasses I picked up at Goodwill. Also, we're not doing stocking stuffers. Do you guys, Bucky is going to be in all of these shots. Can you go some, can you come over here? Come here. What's this? Oh, oh. Do you guys do stocking stuffers for your significant other? I feel like this year we just aren't. Oh, I also should preface all of this with um, Christian kind of already got his big Christmas present for the year. So I was planning to get him a table saw. I mentioned a few vlogs back that he's building us a dining room table and there was one tool that was really expensive that he needed to do it. And I was gonna buy him that tool and it was a table saw, which is like 200 to $400. But uh, he found one on Facebook Marketplace for like $150. So that idea was no longer good. And then I started brainstorming what else can I get him for Christmas as like his big present. Cause we do a couple like small things, but we like to do like one big present. And his big present is actually already put together downstairs because I couldn't hide it well. I got him a um, like a power cage for like weightlifting. There was a Black Friday sale at Walmart for one. I texted his brother for some advice, like making sure it was the right one and it was like a decent looking one or whatever. And it came and got delivered and I had this whole plan. My mom helped me make this plan. Thank you mom for helping me think this through. The box that it was coming in weighs like 150 pounds. So I knew that I couldn't personally move it. And my mom said, Allison, make sure you are watching the door for when whoever delivers it, delivers it and then have like a $20 bill ready and then offer that to them to like give them as a tip to help you move it and hide it somewhere in the house. So I had this entire plan. The delivery man was gonna help me move it into our dining room. I was gonna cover with a sheet. I would give him a tip for helping me with it. And then it got delivered a day early. Christian was home from work. I had missed the delivery man and it was just a ginormous box sitting at our front door that weighs 150 pounds. And so I went and like taped all of the sides where it like said power cage up. And then I was like, Christian, it's your Christmas present. You can't ask questions. I just need you to help me move this thing. And then I forgot to tape up one of the little things on the very bottom of the box. It said power cage. He read that. So that night we put it together. So he already has his Christmas present. It's in the garage. But all of these things, can you chew that anywhere else? <laughs> but all of these things here are just smaller gifts for him to have. So Bucky, I need you to go away. But with all that being said, here are his Christmas presents. Margarita glasses, a pack of microfiber cloths from Amazon. Christian's really into detailing his truck, so uh, he needed more microfiber cloths. So a big 24 pack of these was $12. So I'm honestly probably gonna take some of these for my cleaning. I got him a bunch of clothes from Target because normally that's the only time of year we buy clothes for him really. So a basic black tee and then a bunch of other stuff. We got underwear, a Captain America t-shirt, a new hoodie, a workout top, and then a polo. So all of these things are his Christmas presents that are not the big one that's sitting in the garage. I'm gonna wrap all of this up now.
Okay, everything is wrapped. I love how it turned out, but I need to get it down to the tree. But first, I need to get rid of all of the evidence because I just checked Christian's location and he is on our street. So I need to get rid of all the Target stuff. Christian notices today or tomorrow or never that there are now presents underneath a tree. Well, more presents. Hey, Bucky. Do you want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? Yeah, let's go. That's bright, too much light. Okay, much better. Okay, welcome to day two, the next day. Why Why did I say day two? It's the next morning. We had a very lazy morning and I forgot to mention something to you. Well, I've been holding off and mentioning it to you because I was super excited about it and I didn't want to like say it too soon and have it not come true. But Christian has a friend at work and him and his wife actually just adopted a golden retriever puppy. So they need somebody to watch their puppy a couple of times a week, like during the day. So um, Bucky and I are going to have a new friend joining the party pretty soon. But if you guys know about Bucky, you know he's kind of reactive to other dogs. We haven't introduced him like one-on-one -on -one to a dog before, but like dogs across the street, barks at. Dogs through the window, barks at. Dogs in cars, barks at. So today we are introducing the two of them before we have to like have them like come to the house and like me watch both of them all day long for once. Like we want them to like have a couple good interactions before I start dog sitting. But because we're introducing the puppy today, we thought we'd have them over for dinner also because I have zero friends here in California, which is a super fun thing about being a military wife when you don't have kids. That's actually how I've made all of my friends since we've been in the military, like been a military family. Christian makes friends at work and those friends have wives and that's who I meet and hang out with. So hopefully this goes- <laughs> Excuse me. Who gave you permission to look this cute? So hopefully this goes well, but the whole point of this introduction is one, a puppy will start to be in all the videos now. Well, actually not all of the videos, but some of the videos that I'm filming while they're here. I also need to clean the whole house because we're having people over for dinner. And not that they're gonna see our bedroom, but I feel like we need to make the bed. We need to clean downstairs. I need to go to Walmart to buy some food for us. And basically I'm gonna get our house together because we are hosting people. So let's start the cleaning montage. I'm sorry, do you know how cute you are? You just, you're just so cute. I want about 15 of you, but I don't think Christian would let me have 15 of you. Dreams can last forever Cause I still dream of you And we Got cash for days. I don't really care cause all my days got your name on them. Sign your name on them. I don't see the point of the bling bling bling. Sleeping on my love for a single ring with your name on it. And I ain't sorry, no, I just wanna love you. And 
a little update on the Christmas presents. It honestly took Christian a couple hours to realize there were more there and he wasn't quite sure that they weren't there before. He was asking if I just rearranged them and I told him, well, Santa might have come. Got girls for days. I don't really care cause on my days got your name on them. Sign your name on them. Pick it down for your hand, girl. This is it. Save me all my love for a single ring with your name on it. And I ain't sorry, no, I just wanna love you. Oh, and here is our lovely gingerbread house we built last night. It was quite the adventure, always always challenging to build a gingerbread house, but we don't know where to put it because I don't want Bucky to be able to reach it. And I feel like on the bar cart, he would be able to jump up there and get it, or even just on the counters, he'd be able to reach it. So it's over there for now, but let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations for where to place our gingerbread house. But last thing to clean up is the kitchen. But I did just sneak away for a second to go check on the table in the garage. Guys, it looks so good. Christian has sanded half of it now, and it is, it's taking quite some time because we're making it probably as complicated as possible. Possible. I don't want to waste even at the day. I don't want to wait any longer. I just want to love you. I just want to love every inch of your body. Yeah. I just want to love every time we say sorry. For your hand, girl, this is it. Sleeping on my love for a single ring with your name on it. And I ain't sorry, no, I just wanna love you. Kitchen is now clean. Actually, now almost all of the house is clean. The only thing we have left to do, <laughs> it's kind of awkward. Because Christian's turned the garage mostly into a woodworking place, and now it has the um, big like squat rack thing into it, he wanted to take all of the decorations out of here. And this is the crate we're going to use for the other dog. Um, let's move this upstairs into the storage closet, which is also a disaster, but uh, that's a problem for another day. I just kind of wanted to get this out of sight, out of mind for when we have people coming over. I just pulled up to Goodwill right there and then I'm gonna go to Walmart after this but I'm gonna end this video here thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one bye